and you are very welcome to this special plan with me. Today, as you watch, is a milestone. If you watch it the day it goes live, I have been on YouTube for five years. I posted my very first video on the 19th of August, 2019. And I just wanna say a huge thank you to everybody, whether you've been here from the start, following me along in my journey, or whether you're newer to the channel, I appreciate each and every one of you and this has become a huge part of my life. I couldn't imagine not doing it so much so that I now have a room dedicated to <laughs> this channel. That's my studio. So yeah, anyway, let's get started. I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to be using and I'm going to put down my layout. And then today, instead of talking about the plans, we're going to have a chat. I got to ask one or two questions and we're just going to sit and chat about them. So why don't you grab your favorite drink or your planner and make yourself comfy and we'll get started. So I have here the Sharpie S gel in 0.5 and this is in the steel gray barrel. And then I have a Zig Clean Color Dot marker. This is a newer one to me. Uh, it's 131 light blue. And then I have my Planner Monkey Co dates. And I'm going to be using some of these. These are for Hub, from Hubman and Chub Girl. And then the kit I have been saving for this occasion is the Achievements Mini Kit, which is just perfect. Well, I have the Achievements Mini Kit full boxes here from Coffee Monsters Co. But then I have the actual Hobonichi Cousin full kit. It was back when there was two sheets. She actually has a version of this that was for her graduation. That's when she released it. And she released a version then for people who just want to use it as an achievement that aren't necessarily graduating like me. And it's just perfect for this week. So we have the smaller version of the full boxes, some doodle banners, a little trophy, it says number one. And then that's the second sheet. We have the weekend banner and some other full boxes. And then I have some additional achievement sticky notes that goes with the kit. I've used some of them, but I have these, so that's plenty. And then I've also been saving a vinyl here to go in my sidebar. It's from that same range to do with achievements with the WMOD starting down at the bottom and then they eventually get up to their goal with the little flag, which is just so cute. Then finally, I have, now this isn't to do with achievements necessarily, but it's affirmations um, washi from Coffee Monsters Co. And I thought that would be fun to go alongside it and the yellow goes really well. So let's get the layout down as I said, and then we'll have a little chat. Right, 
let's plan and chat. So the first thing I'm gonna mark down here is the anniversary. So the first question that I got is, what is your favorite kit you've used this year? And also what's your all time favorite washi? So I'll do the all time favorite washi first. Now this is tough because I have a lot of washi that I like, but if I'm forced to choose, it's this one from Coffee Monsters Co. Cozy Christmas. I just, it just made me so happy when I saw it because now since then, in fairness, I have branched out into a lot more color, but at the time I didn't, you know, I used very muted colors, grays, blues, browns, you know, it was all that kind of thing. And finding a Christmas kit that was neutral was next to impossible or a Christmas washi. And whenever Helen came out with this, I was just like, that is gorgeous. And it just made me so happy. And I said to her, it was my all time favorite Christmas washi. And just the feeling of how happy it makes me. And I love Christmas and I love all the little emojis in it and everything. And yeah, I just love this washi. I think it's perfect, absolutely perfect. And even now that I've branched out into color, I'm still a neutral lover at heart. And yeah, this is just awesome. And then my favorite kit. Hmm. Now this one is really hard because I've actually had a lot I like this year. Hold on, just give me a second to flip through and I'm gonna try and make myself pick. My word, that was really hard. <laughs> I had to just force myself. I was thinking it was going to be this because this is right up my street. It's so gorgeous, but I'm going with this. This is the Arctic, what was the name of the kit again? Arctic Winter. And I just, it, when I'd only really started using kits. It was actually the second week because I only started using kits in my planner this year. And I love this one too, don't get me wrong, but I just, this one just made me really happy and you guys seem to really like it too because it was watched a lot and um, you know, in terms of views on my channel and I just think it's an awesome kit, like it's so cute. Yeah, so I can't really give any more explanation than that because there's so many of them that I love but that's the one that's put my arm up my back, I'm gonna pick. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna take a second to put down some food boxes and mark my anniversary. And then we'll talk about the other question I got. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow on golden, 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 golden things. Mountain Laurel High Five. In spring. Right, so the other question was, have you made any decisions on your 2025 planners yet? And the answer is yes and no. <laughs> and to explain that, I'm sure you'll have noticed in my plan with me's and some of my journal with me's, I've mentioned like what I'm thinking about for journaling and planning, but I haven't actually said, this is what I'm doing because I kind of worry that if I say this is what I'm doing and then change my mind that you'll all be annoyed. <laughs> it's like, cause it's only August, but I always think about my planners right from June because that's when quite a lot of companies release their planners. Even the ones that start in January, I find um, there has been a lot of pre-orders around then and then they ship them out in sort of September, October. So I kind of would love to hold off before I make a purchase, but I can't in case it goes. But I'm just gonna tell you anyway what I'm thinking and hopefully you'll understand that this isn't necessarily what I'll 100% go with. I could easily change my mind again. Um, I'll 
you know, and hopefully that's fine by you all. But anyway, I don't think I'm gonna go for Erin Condren planners next year. Before, I kind of would have went with them because I love softbound books, absolutely. That is my favorite. And because I sticker plan, I don't necessarily want an A5. I find A5 too small for sticker planning for me because I love using lots of stickers but not feeling like everything's crammed. That's just my personal preference. And if I'm using an A5, it would just be like a paper and pen type of a thing uh, rather than actually, um, rather than, you know, going full out with stickers. But honestly, if you heard me talk about when they had the Erin Condren release, I'm not a fan of the size this year, the options. And honestly, canvas isn't even my thing. I'm not a fan of the font. Now, if it was a case that um, that was all there was, I would probably pick canvas and just cover the design of the monthly with something of my own. And then because I'm covering all the fonts anyway with stickers, it wouldn't matter as long as they release something that was a color I liked, like a cover that I liked, I would go with that. But over the last couple of years, which I'm delighted by, the wind book planners have really up to their game and there's a lot more options, which is really, really awesome. Like, I've just been watching the Sterling Inc. release, which I had never heard of actually until recently. And she's been releasing videos of what's offered and she offers a B5, which for me is perfect because I use this again, because that was the only option because I didn't want an A5, but B5 is actually my perfect size. And I thought that was awesome. However, I'm not a fan of Tomo River, Tomo River paper. So even though I like the layout, I probably wouldn't go for those. And then I had thought of Hemlock and Oak before. I have it here. And I do actually really like the layout and the paper. I've been testing it and playing about and seeing if I like it. But I don't like the hardcover. I'm not a fan of it. So for me, it was just thinking about pros and cons of what bugs me more in relation to is the hardcover more of a bug bearer or is the canvas you know, you know, should I hold off and see about the canvas, etc., etc. So I was thinking about that, but Hemlock and Oak actually had a pre-order. Um, I think it was either June or July, and I know they'll probably release their planners again later in the year. But the only way that you can guarantee that you're going to get the size, the color, and the layout that you want is to order in the pre-order because they're going to make whatever you order. It's a pre-order. And I think they either ship out in September or October. So I bought a B5 because they have B5. And then this year they released what's called a flex cover. So it's not quite like vegan leather soft bind style, but it is not hard bound. It's like a I don't know, a flex cover. I'm not really going to know until I hold it in my hands. I'm really excited to look at it, but it looks awesome and it looks absolutely perfect for me because it's B5, it's flex cover and they have, you know, they're, they're awesome paper. I can't remember off the top of my head the exact specifications of this paper, but I think it really holds up well to stickers and it's just really good. I'll, I'll put what the specifications up there were again, whenever I'm editing, I can't remember. So I am leaning towards that being my planner for next year. Um, style wise, my style of planning, I love. I feel like I've really come into my own this year, which is funny because when I first started planning, I thought using sticker kits was way too much for me. <laughs> but now I love it. And I've actually been collecting the standard size ones. So next year I intend to start using my standard size kits. And it'll be the way I plan this year, only it'll be in that new planner. And it's a vertical and everything, and it's just, it's perfect. So that's where I'm leaning towards. I'll see. I mean, I'll be doing a flip through and an unboxing of those planners when they come, regardless of whether I end up using them or not. So if you want to see them, um, definitely keep an eye out. That'll be coming as soon as I get them. Then I actually ordered a different set of planners from them because my year in my life journal. This is why I don't chat to you and try to plan at the same time because I am not getting anywhere. <laughs> Hold on, let me write in a few things and then I'll keep talking. Love like wildfire I was your entire world until I stood alone in a storm. Yeah. 
So my year in my life journal this year, I do really love, but every year that I've been journaling, I've sort of upped my game in the sense that the first year I journaled, I took a blank dot grid notebook that was a B5 size and at the end of every week I summarised the week with various prompts and those prompts were like if something happened during the week I'd write um, down on a note, uh, I don't know, dinner date at Sugar Ray's or whatever and then at the end of the week I would sit down and use those prompts of things that happened and write about them. I have a whole playlist of that up on the channel and then this year um, I have the Hubman Chub Girl journal subscription. So I actually now, instead of weekly, I do a daily summary at the end of the day. So I use the journal theme. So this one was June's and it was Strawberry Harvest. And I use it for the entire month. But I then, like I said, at the end of each day, write a little, sometimes it's a really tiny sentence, other times it's a bit more. And I use the stickers from the journal subscription then and just stick them around it and it's easy then and I keep the same thing theme for the whole month but I was finding that I'm not really using my Tombows this year and I have loads of washi and I kind of sometimes want to be a bit more creative I feel like and I want to up my game with it and as well instead of just writing a sentence at the end of the day to summarize the day I want to be able to write throughout the day so I want to up it again this or this next year and I want to have a daily planner. So I did actually buy it in A5 because I thought, you know, I don't want it for sticker planning an A5, like I said, but for something like a daily journal, I don't want to go too far and try to fill in a massive B5 page every day. Do you know what I mean? And I can start using my Tombow markers and my washies and being fun and creative with it. However, if I don't feel like doing that and I just want to solidly write, I don't have to. And it'll kind of open up that creativity in me again. And I'm going to set up a little journal buddy that I have. Hold on. Because it's A5 and I can keep it inside it. I'm going to say it's A5, they're actually split in two. So I'll have January to June in one book and then July to December in another book and that'll be my full year. And I'll carry it about with me all day in this little bag wherever I go, whether I'm down at my other desk or up here. And I wanna have everything I need to journal in there. And that's the aim. And I thought that would be fun to kind of challenge myself to be creative with it and not um, only write once a day. And we'll see, I'm gonna up my game. So yeah, they're from Hemlock and Oak as well. So uh, they're also flexi cover. Like I said, the year is split in two, which I like the idea of because I'll get that extra set up <laughs> throughout the year. I love setting up planners. And I'll also like not have, cause I intend to like, like stick lots of stuff in it and cards and you know, like I say, just get crafty and have fun. And it'll help with the thickness of it being a bound book that I'm not going to be carrying around an entire year in a journal. And we'll see, you know, every year I see what works and doesn't work and I improve it for myself. And it doesn't mean I didn't enjoy the year before. Like, yeah, I like to change it up with, as my needs change and as I discover what I like and don't like. And sometimes it just works fine and I enjoyed it, but I enjoyed it for that year and I want to try something different. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking of for my year in my life journal of upping the game in a sense and trying to be more creative and carrying about that little journal body, etc, etc. So then that leaves my socials journal and I have enjoyed, hold on, we're having a write down stuff with break. You took the sunshine, the flames are gone now and I watched you walk straight out of that Promises got lost in the dust Your boots by the door You're not coming home Love like wildfire I was your entire world Until I wasn't anymore Oh
So my socials journal, I've really enjoyed doing it, having it like a theme for the whole year. So the first year I did it, I did coffee and this year I did stationery. However, <laughs> I'm having to sort of make my own food boxes and my own, you know, printing out a lot of stuff and making it my own and trying to fill in a lot of spaces. You know, like I said, I make food boxes. Let me give you an example. So July's theme was stickers. So I had this vinyl, I've made this, I printed this from a free digital and I had to, you know, create this and find all these basically and think of what to do. And then this is what I mean, because I didn't do anything on the Thursday, I feel the need to make food boxes to fill the space. Like I said, I try something, I enjoy it, but then it doesn't mean I necessarily want to do it again. And I've come to the point where I don't want to have to think about making my own food boxes. I would rather put my creativity into my year in my life journal. So I'm going to swap and I think I'm going to use my journal subscription for my socials journal. And that way I have all the stickers there. If I do need to fill in spaces, I'll fill them in with all those little stickers. Um, from the theme and I can make the my own monthly stickers from the free digital downloads but that's easy because I don't actually have to create them they're there I just sort of turn them into the size that I want which is perfect and I'm leaning towards actually doing it in an empty dot grid b5 notebook and that way it's almost like bullet journaling in a sense I can make it my own because I love recording all my little milestones and memories but this will be a way of doing it with what I actually need as opposed to trying to make my needs work for the planner. I'll make the planner work for my needs in that sense. And that one's not a definite, but that's where I'm leaning towards. And I'll be able to sit down and set it up once a month, but have all the stickers posted to me in the journal subscription. And I could even add on the sticker subscription that matches if I wanted extra and didn't want to bother having to print my own digitals. But yeah, that's where I'm leaning towards with it. So hopefully that gave you some ideas. Um, if you're unsure yourself, I would you know sit down and write a list of things that work for you this year and things that don't. And then just watch the unboxing videos on YouTube to take a look at things and find out the things that don't work, which one bugs you more you know so if you have a planner that has five things that bug you and a planner that has one thing that bu bugs you go for the one thing unless that one thing is so annoying that it might as well be five things do you know what I mean <laughs> but that's where I'm leaning towards and I'm really excited and you know you I try I say this all the time it's hard as a planner not to wish your life away sometimes because you're just sort of itching to get into the new thing because now that I've seen that like I'm busting for that planner to get sent to me from Hemlock and Oak. So I'm dead excited and you know TCMC is going to be releasing their 2025 calendars soon and like I said I'm trying not to wish my life away <laughs> because it's hard not to do that as a planner because you're always thinking forward and on a note of something that's happening sooner I'm excited about the November and the December themes from Hubman and Chub Girl. I think they're gonna be gorgeous for their journal themes. So at least that's something I can do this year and not have to wait to next year. So that is me all set. Oh, whoops. No, it's not. And that is everything. Thank you so much for watching today and for all your support and take care and I'll speak to you soon. Bye. Sailors passing on the street, are you ready for peace? Mm -hmm. Ships are filling up.